Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started first of all thanks to all of you that keep clicking that like button adding comment sharing the video thank you very much guys i really appreciate it as usual we're going to start with the dixie we are looking on the daily time frame and uh, from last week what we've got so far was a uh, bullish continuation on the dollar so uh, we've got this uh, interesting area of resistance that now is broken we got a nice daily break to the upside if we check the weekly as well nice weekly close above previous highs so things are looking good for the bulls now uh, it did slow down a little bit with um, a little bit of a correction and that's normal and i'm also still thinking that we might still see a little bit of a correction down potentially back down to the monthly pivot point and the previously broken structure here on the dollar as far as the dollar inside this channel i'm still thinking we might keep um, being a bullish uh, longer term and a, potentially a continuation to the upside i think the 95 area is the next target we do have a couple of highs that the bulls might uh, interest to test so we've got a test of this one last week where we got the correction started and we have this area as well as a potential uh, area to test checking the weekly time frame you see that the ultimate target could be this swing here this area uh, been acting as a nice uh, support and resistance level at around the 95 where we also have the 200 moving average on the weekly at around that level so my anticipation is that we uh, might see a little bit of a correction to the downside next week to then start looking for continuation on the dollar gold nice bounce to the upside from a key area we mentioned this level in the weekly overviews uh, previously because it is a nice level of interest you see here as well if we forget about this one dip to the downside this is a key area for now for gold and for the uh, bulls to hold this level for potential um, saving the day and continuing higher well if we go down to the four hour we see that last week we've got a nice bounce there was a little bit of a correction and then uh, things stopped so if they manage to break above these highs next week target gonna be all the way up here toward this previously broken structure and the 200 moving average on the four hour so at around 1785 could be the next market objective if they manage to break above this but a failure here that will signal potential continuation and another retest of this bottom and this bottom is as i said a key area so the bulls need to hold it otherwise if they break below the next target going to be at around 1680 down here to fill this uh, wick all the way down here okay so those are the levels to watch 1730 potential support previous high need to be broken to then target uh, the uh, 1785 area on gold euro usd um, been uh, bearish so far uh, did a break below previous lows here checking the weekly time frame you see that on the weekly time frame we do have a sequence of lower lows and lower highs since this start to happen we've got this major lower low here we've got um, minor lows and lower lows uh, as well and what's uh, very important last week we've got this break and close below this area and um, euro tested the key level of interest that i've been talking about um, a couple of weeks ago as well that this area gonna be a potential support so 
they did test this level with a break and close below actually on the weekly they did tag the 200 moving average on the weekly time frame as well so it could be time for a little bit of a correction going um, down to the daily time frame we see that we are still in a, a bearish sequence here with lower lows and lower highs my anticipating my anticipation early next week maybe to fill the void in the price here next week uh, and what could be a little bit of a correction back up so i'm I'm expecting a little bit of a correction back up next week, early next week, to then start looking to see if we're gonna see a continuation maybe from around this uh, these areas here where we have the uh, monthly uh, pivot point as well. So if we look back here, we had this uh, structure got broken. We've got here support. We've got this whole area as a potential level of uh, resistance for next week. And again, it could fill this uh, void in price give you a correction here back up to then start looking for continuation as for now this market is still a bearish market so keep an eye at around monthly pivot point for potential trouble for the bulls and that uh, you might see the bears entering back at, at that area what might be a signal for that correction to start happen is um, some kind of an inverted head and shoulder here if next week you see something like this start to happening and they, you see him breaking the neckline here could see a correction at um, early next week once again uh, sterling uh, sterling usd also <clears throat> bearish checking the weekly time frame here as well we see that sterling did close below these levels on the weekly did tag this area of interest we knew that this level might uh, act as potential support and as a potential target now they did reach that level they did um, <clears throat> test deep inside the area to then push back up a little bit daily time frame we're still looking at a uh, bearish market with lower lows and lower highs and yet another break to the downside this structure was an important level that got broken and what we're seeing right now could be a potential correction a retest after such a huge move to the downside you normally get a retest back to then start looking for continuation and that's what i'm looking for at around monthly pivot point and this previously broken structure is the level i'm watching especially that we are now trading way below the 200 moving average on the daily that is usually a sign that this market um, is uh, bearish when you trade uh, below the 200 moving average on the daily go down to the four hour time frame and we see that after this huge move to the downside it is very very normal that you get a correction of that at least a 50 percent retracement or something like that so if we measure the whole leg here we see that uh, the market almost done a 50 percent at around 618 that would be even better area to watch for a potential rejection or potential trouble here for the bulls to then look for a um, reversal back down so um, again even on this one early next week maybe continuation to the upside but then i'm start to look to uh, see if there is any bearish evidence at around this area where we have the monthly pivot point level this is the kill zone in my opinion that we should be watching to see what will happen at around that area uh, if the bear is going to show up or not okay so i'm bearish um, longer term but short term we might see those um, bullish corrections um, usd jappy also uh, did a huge move to the upside so uh, it did move all the way from uh, 109.10 toward uh, 112 where we expected a potential resistance because if we look left we see that this whole area been acting as a good uh, support and resistance previously and this whole move down to the downside did start also from this level so um, it was a good target and a good level of profit taking and maybe also uh, new bears entering the market who knows all in all we've got a break up out of this structure we've got a break above previous highs the whole move was a, a pretty strong with a good momentum we've got like six bullish days with a strong momentum so 
one could expect some kind of a correction and honestly the the level i am watching is at around 618 this previously broken structure here happened to be a 618 retracement on this leg so if i'm seeing the market next week what reaching back down toward this area i will start look for um bullish evidence at around this area to then look for a potential reversal back to the upside back toward the 112 area that's my plan on uh, uj for next week guys usd chief also still bullish um with a bigger correction so usd chief been making these uh, big corrections all the time you break you see a big correction it break it do a big correction and the same happened next uh, last week sorry we've got a break to the upside to then big uh, correction once again in my opinion as far as this market is above the trend line here above this bullish trend line as far as there is no break below it this will still be a potential market that will continue to the upside and the level that got tested last week already is this um, area here we've got uh, this area that got broken lately uh, at around monthly pivot point this is the first level to watch for bullish continuation and if that fail the next gonna be this structure here this whole structure here trend line potentially the 200 moving average on the four hour will be at around that area at the same time so this zone here gonna be very very interesting if the bears push this market all the way down toward that trend line i'm very interesting to look for potential buys at that area usd cad very choppy not the best market to trade at the moment um, still could go to the upside but there is uh, still this um, consolidation going on and um, there is no healthy trend on this one so you need to be careful of course the market is trading above the 200 moving average and that could be an argument that uh, since it is trading above the 200 moving average you're willing to um, go long on this market but it also gave us a lower high here on the daily which is never good so if anything next week we should be watching this structure here if this structure hold as support you might still see a bounce back up to the to to retest this area but otherwise you need to be careful not the safest market at the moment you do have this um a trend line here that you could use as a filter so uh, what i mean by but i feel by, by using this as a filter that as far as the market is trading above that trend line you might still see continuation to the upside but a break below the trend line and this structure here could signal further downside maybe to um to do a retest of these areas at around monthly s1 down here that could be uh, one scenario as well guys so <clears throat> i want you to just be a little bit careful here just because of uh, these keep happening you see a breakout and then boom all the way down to then break lower to then move back up it is very very choppy as you see so i would say use that trend line as your filter and as far as, as it's holding you might still see uh, some break uh, sorry some reversal to the upside otherwise it is not the best uh, structure we are looking at at the moment Aussie, uh, Aussie USD did um, a nice move Thursday and Friday last week, but uh, keep in mind this broke the um, structure here, did a retest, broke lower once again. I was actually expecting this market to reach this previous low before um, corrections to start to happen. But um, as, as we saw last week, uh, Thursday we've got a re reversal, Friday also another continuation. Uh, all in all in my opinion as far as there is no break above this previous swing here with the lower high this lower high as far as that is not broken you might still see continuation to the downside you might still consider this a retest or a correction and then continuation to at least tag this previous low i still think the bears might have this uh, low down here as a potential target to uh, retest it so going down to the four hour time frame the market is still uh, below the 200 moving average on the four hour tested it twice here without a break to the upside then we've got this break to the downside the structure got broken my first level of interest last week was to look to see if there is 
some kind of a bearish uh, scenarios here to then continue lower we've got one i did add uh, <coughs> a short at around this area uh, but then as you see the market um, did find support and start uh, moving to the upside breaking above these levels so this is not looking good at the moment but still there is some trouble on the way i still think as far as this is not broken once again to the upside you might still see this market reversing so it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen here next week on the higher time frame on the lower time frame the bulls are doing a good job for now short term with this leg but all in all honestly the key structure is still this double top as far as that is holding you might still see a rotation back down New Zealand USD also did a nice break to the downside. So on the daily structure, you have a market that trading below the 200 moving average, gave you a lower high, gave you a lower low, yet another lower high and another lower low. So the same here, why would the bears stop here? Why they will not take profit at around this area instead now since they broke back below uh, the structure so even here i'm thinking that we might after such a huge move to the downside get a little bit of a correction to then look for continuation and the level of interest gonna be this area down here this structure is pretty interesting for me to watch if we measure the whole leg that broke to the downside this one we see that the area between the 50 and the 618 should be uh, our kill zone in my opinion and this is my kill zone at least we've got already a 38.2 retracement and up here inside this area i will start looking for bearish evidence to see if we're gonna see the continuation to the downside happening i do have already some uh, hidden divergence on the rsi as you see it's already uh, equal high with this stop here on the rsi so based on that this is already a sign that we do have trouble for the upside and um, again at around 50 and 618 that is where i'm looking to look for uh, a, a short scenario here to, for a continuation to the downside after this correction something like this hopefully and then a continuation down toward these lows toward these areas down here Okay, so that's my plan for this one next week. And oil, um, still bullish, still looking uh, good. Did test the, uh, the ultimate level, checking the weekly time frame to see where we are at. Guys, you see that this is a very, very important level at around these areas. The support and resistance was huge previously. And the most important thing that if the bulls manage to break above these areas, there is nothing on the way here until they reach uh, the 90 area so it's going to be a pretty open area here if the bulls manage to break above this next target going to be 90 that's almost for sure so keep an eye on where the price is right now any trouble at this area could signal reversal back down towards 70 uh, if they fail to break higher so any double top here or something like that any failure next week you could look for first a retest back toward um, the monthly pivot point after that if they didn't hold the next gonna be at around uh, 70 down here so that's is like uh, seven six seven dollars to the downside if they fail to break to the upside and again if they manage to break higher next target gonna be the 90 area and that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye